Hello guys, today I have a very special piece again to show you. This is one of my all-time favorites and after spending some time with it, I absolutely love this piece. This is a Michael Raymond Starlet Carbo Quartz. Very, very nice piece. Michael worked really hard to get everything just absolutely perfect. I'd say Michael is one of those makers who improved a lot over the years. Um, I've seen his work before, but you know, there's there's some things that didn't appeal to me as much, but this design and this craftsmanship is absolutely amazing. This is top class, I'm telling you guys. Everything is just perfect. You know, personally, I'm before I used to like knives on bearings. I used to like flippers a lot more, but this is just an exemption from that. Um, this is on washers, and it's extremely well done. The tolerances here are extremely tight extremely extremely tight um, let's start with the frame so here we have an integral knife um, obviously Michael is known for doing integral folders um, and he has three models that I know of the Estrella the Starlet and the newer Galaxus um, the Estrella was kind of like an, a first version, so if you notice, the butt end would be is a little bit more squared off, while the Starlet is more streamlined, and I like this a lot more. Um, he also has two thumb studs on his newer models, and I mean, he's been doing that for a while, but um, his older ones have studs on only one side. And the Galaxus is basically a larger version of the starlet this comes in at around 3.25 inches on the blade length which is perfect um, the galaxis comes in at 3.75 inch blade length um, and yeah back back to the frame so the pivot is a custom pivot everything on this knife that you see has been made in house all the screws and everything um, the pivot has a carbo quartz inlay. The pivot is not flush, but this is what it, al it allows for you. He, has, he provides you a special tool, which unfortunately I didn't bring to show you today, but um, he gives you two tools to um, so you can clean and maintain your knife. And those tools are extremely beautiful. Um, it took him 40 hours just to do those tools, and that's a lot more time than what makers spend on making a whole knife you know never mind the screws and if you see the screw holes are eclipse so to, in order to make this exactly perfectly evenly spaced and to make the tool perfectly shaped you know you see the, the pivots with the round holes and those are already impressive but to make it an eclipse and then provide you a tool with it, I think that's, you know, it goes an extra mile. It's a lot more work. And coming to the frame, you can see the carbo quartz is extremely, extremely beautiful. You can see how it plays, the color plays in the light. And the inlays, it's just perfection. It comes all the way to the edge. Um, and if you just, you know, you like normally when people go and say that the inlays are finished, they use the thumb. But if you really want to know if it's actually really well done, you use your nail and you kind of feel it across. And you can, if you can't feel the transition, then it's basically perfect. I mean, if you can, then it's not like it's not the end of the world. It's still like extremely, extremely well done. But this one. You can use your nail and run it over and you can't feel a thing. It's just amazing. 
on both sides the same even on the pocket clip the screws he made the screws in house as well um, these are zirconium screws on a scale and in his um, work in progress pictures he actually labeled each one you know like the back side on the top and the back side on the bottom so all, each one of them have to be clocked to the exact measurement um, because as you can see it's an eclipse and in order to make them all face the same way you know you have to go extremely tight in the tolerance to make it face all of them face upwards and this is one of those one of those details which I love on this knife even on the pocket clip he has the clip screw as well um, and in fact when I talked to Michael he said that the most con consuming time consuming process was actually making the screws itself to clocking in the screws to make it face upwards the same way even art knife makers who are known to be s extremely precise a lot of them buy a big set of screws and they try to fit them all in because you know the tolerance is very a little bit and if you know if they don't fit then you just throw it away get a new one see which one fits the best but to make your own as well from what you would consider as a tactical maker this is kind of next level I don't see anyone else doing this and like even though some makers make their own screws it's a different story if you want to clock them to the exact same degree man just look at that extremely extremely nice the pocket clip works very well um, on the other one on the Galaxus is the one auction before this the pocket clip actually curved above and it looked cool but I thought that you know it kind of blocked the carbo cords on this side so I'm, I'm really glad that he came he made it you know curve down this direction to, so you can show all the beauty of the knife um, oh and going back to the screws um, Michael said it takes a very very long time to make clock screws like these and you know who knows um, he might not make it again for a very long time because it, it's just too time consuming and not a lot of people notice it um, but I'm very glad that I got to jump on this piece um, I feel very fortunate um, that you know is present here the finish on the the frame itself is you know a polish and blasted finish which gives a very nice reflective high quality looking knife you know but it is very very scratch resistant if you recall I carried my um, Scott Cook that one was just like a full very high polish frame and there were scratches everywhere but on this piece you know this is just it's still in perfect condition which I love it's perfect for everyday carry it's the right size you know this for office work this is so classy um, I can't imagine a better better knife to carry than this and going forward um, to the action the action is very very nice you see you can flick it although the lock bar tension is very strong it is super smooth it is still super smooth and you see how this lock up engages see how he he chamfers the edge. so there's a little cut out here along the edge you know a little contour but this matches perfectly against the blade which I thought was really cool you know lock release is really easy with no stick um, and closing the knife 
It has the same like feeling, the same tension, same smoothness, let's say, going all the way down. And hear that detent? Let's hear that again. Yep. One of my favorite <laughs> aspects of the knife is the sound. It's just so fun to play with. Opening the knife is just incredible. Um, it is so loud, partly because of the in the nature of be being an integral, but also because the tolerances are so tight. It can make this sound. I, I never get tired of it. Um, it's just, wow, unbelievable. Next up is, you know, the thumb studs are made of zirconium, and these are also very, very underrated. I mean, for me, I use my thumb to kind of like push out the knife, and most of the thumb studs I see on the market are more pointy, and those kind of dig into your finger if you play with it for a while, but this, 100%, Perfect. No, it doesn't hurt. It catches your thumb perfectly. You don't slip on it. You know, opens well every time. Your thumb is perfectly fine. You see, nothing. You know, it's just so comfortable to handle. Awesome, awesome knife. You know, overall the shape is very sleek. The blade. It's so, so cool. Um, even though it's more, I guess, a classic shape, it's just a perfect slicing tool. This thing is so super sharp, and the camera is having a pretty hard time focusing because the hand rub on this has a pretty high luster finish, higher than most of my other knives. Um, and the lines are just absolutely perfect. Uh, kind of hard to show you right now, but believe me, you know how the knife curves, curves up like this? You can see the hand rub line also follows the curve of the knife. You know, on many knives, the hand rub would just go straight all the way through, but this curves with the grind. Um, and I thought that was just so cool because it's perfectly done on both sides. Magnificent. You know, I've just been so impressed with this knife that it actually kind of slowed me down in the collection, collect, uh, collecting world because I don't know if I can find anything that I want to carry more than this one. Um, I mean, other knives will probably spend more time in the safe than in my pocket, which this currently dominates. I mean, it's, it might just be because it's still new and I love it. You know, the jimping works very well, not sharp, you know, but overall, this knife is incredible. I don't know what to tell you guys. But yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, one other thing that I forgot to mention. Thank you for you guys for sticking around this long, but there's a little bit of a bonus feature here. Um, that I did mention in the main video. One of the things that I thought was really cool was because it's an Integro knife, usually Integro knives have a hole here where they cut it out and you can, you know, insert the detent ball somehow. Um, don't quote me on it. I'm not very, I'm not a mechanic, that's for sure. I'm not an engineer. Um, but usually you see a hole here where they can kind of insert the detent or a pin through there. But on this knife, there's no hole. Um, and it's an integral, so 
how do you put the detent ball in there? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, Michael won't tell me. <laughs> um, but I'm sure it's probably some sort of special tool that he created to kind of keep this open while you can insert the ball somehow. But it really keeps the aesthetic quite clean. And these are the small little things that I find, you know, after spending more time with it. Um, but I just thought that was really cool, so I wanted to mention that. Um, and speaking of clean, the lock bar cutout is inside, so it keeps the aesthetic outside quite pleasing. Plus it doesn't snag on the pocket clip, which is quite important for carry. Huh? Um, so yeah, thanks very much.